All right, my name is Tristan Murphy. I am the lead interior designer for the 2020 mid-engine Corvette. Congratulations, by the way, it's gorgeous. Thank you. What's the inspiration? Uh, so with this car, we really wanted to make something that delivered on that exotic promise when you say mid-engine hypercar. So we really did this extremely driver-focused interior that was very three-dimensional, doesn't feel like anything else on the market. We really wanted to do something that felt truly special. And when you got into it, you really saw the coach-built quality of the whole car. Case in point, the wing, the whole IP has this very three-dimensional layered look where you're seeing the tops, the bottoms, the sides. You're seeing all the hand-wrapped parts. We wanted to treat everything more like luggage or wrapped goods inside the interior. Really get rid of all the plastic, make sure that every single thing you touched was either leather wrapped, suede wrapped, carbon fiber, aluminum, and I think even the simple single door pull, you can look at that and nothing you're touching is a plastic material. Everything is premium. Um, with the design, again, we kind of segmented into three separate areas. You've got your driver controls down in the main cockpit area. You've got your shared infotainment screen, and then you have your shared climate controls. Obviously, the climate controls was something that we want to do that we didn't want to just bury the climate into the, the main display here. We wanted to really make sure it was something you could very easily have access to, but really make it feel special again. Make it this, again, really kind of hone into like the jet fighter cockpit, you know, wrapping right around the driver here. It's nice because it really is just shared control between the two occupants. And it's, it actually acts as a nice way to kind of keep the passenger outside of these driver controls because this is really for the driver. This whole interior really obviously was designed for the driver. Right. Um, the other thing we want to do was this really, really low IP, the, whole, the dashboard, mm -hmm. and that, that was really Quite enabled. Visibility, by the way. Yeah, we really want to make sure that we're capturing this, you know, with the engine in the rear, no hood, you know, no long hood, really aggressive sight lines. And part of the enabling that was this is the industry first. These are the, the thinnest vents that any production car has. And this was really a brand new invention for us. And if you can imagine, it really was big on making sure the dash was as low as possible. If you imagine a typical vent, all this would be up higher. This whole screen here would be up higher. Mm -hmm. So it really was a big impact on kind of like setting the groundwork for the main height and the overall feel of this interior. And what's going on with the cut in the back for the glass? Is there a reason for it? Um, so there, no, there's not a cut, but this houses a speaker right here through the waterfall. So we've got a speaker through here and we've got an Easter egg where you can see the cross flags through the speaker grill itself. Um, through just by doing mini perf. So we wanted to make sure we kind of spoke to some of the history when you think back in Corvette, we've always had the waterfall with the Corvette emblem back there, but obviously now it's a mid-engine car, so how do you do that in a new creative way, so. Wow, this feels really good. Congratulations to you. Thank you very team. much, thank you very much.